Hi, my name is Shells, aka Shotgun Shells, and I'm a hip hop artist and print model from Brooklyn, New York. My first relaxer, I believe, I got when I was five years old. I was starting elementary school, I believe. Um, I don't remember the experience too much because obviously I was five years old, but I just always remembered I never liked perms like that. I could tell you that much. Um, I never believed I had bad hair. I actually don't believe in bad hair. Uh, everyone's hair textures are different. Um, you know, due to their heritage and their background. So, you know, some people hairs, some people's hair grows faster than other people's hair. And I don't, like I said, I don't believe in bad hair. I don't think I personally have bad hair. Um, and I like my hair for what Okay, it is. that's actually a two-part question. Um, I went natural officially in 2011, but I did attempt to do so in 2008. Um, that was unsuccessful. I didn't, I couldn't hold out that long. I ended up giving in and getting a perm before I started college. But uh, in 2011, I ended up having no choice because I dyed my hair too close to getting a relaxer. And it actually damaged my hair to the point where my hair was coming out badly and it broke in the back. So I just figured at that point, I might as well go through with it and chopped it off. And yeah. Um, as far as inspirations, I would say that. Uh, I didn't know too much about natural hair when I first tried one of my coworkers. She had told me, you know, put me onto it, and that's when I first attempted to. But since I didn't follow through with it after that, a couple years passed. Um, both of my aunts had natural hair by then, and um, they pretty much started before me, so they gave me the tips and pointers on, you know, following through with it. So I would say both of my aunts were mostly my inspiration. With you know, following through with it. The hardest part to me about going natural was the the difference in maintenance with the hair. Whereas, obviously, you know, when you get a relaxer, your hair is straight. It's easier to maintain, uh, easier to detangle, and you're kind of used to working out, you know, hairstyles and working out the kinks when you have a bad hair day or whatever. With going natural, it was a whole different board ball game because you had to. It's just a different approach. Of course, you don't use all the same products. The products you once used don't have the same effects. You know, so uh, I would say maintenance is the most difficult thing because it's it's along with the transition. It's a whole different process and ball game. So something you gotta get used. Um, to. for me, the best part of being natural is uh, to make a general statement. I like the fact that no, I love the fact that uh, present day more people. In, are embracing their their natural hair types and and you know how their hair their hair naturally is I think for a long time people felt obligated to use uh, chemical treatments and products to you know change the texture of their hair and their hair's natural form but present day whether it's kinky curly wavy uh, a lot of people are embracing that and for me that is the main thing I like the best about my hair um, it's natural texture uh, its growth rate um, and overall how I've gotten accustomed to styling and, and doing things with my hair I'm learning you know how it adapts to a wave or if I braid it or you know put rollers in so I think overall the journey of styling and maintaining is probably one of my favorite things. Uh, going natural taught me what I kind of already knew like I said before I always hated perms so for me, every time I would get new growth, I would kind of feel the wave pattern in my hair and I would kind of, uh, I knew that there had to be a, another alternative as far as, you know, being able to wear your hair and do things with your hair if you didn't get a perm. And while I understand back then they, they didn't have as much products and, and methods to maintaining natural hair back then, but honestly, I just like the fact that you know, I don't have to worry about repeating a chemical process. I don't have to worry about the damages of uh, a chemical process. I like the fact that, you know, it's mine. I can adapt to, like right now, the, the weather, the rain did this, but I can adapt to, you know, how I can maintain and style my own natural hair, whereas I don't have to worry about every six weeks getting another relax. I don't know. That whole relaxing process is really annoying to me. I always hated it. I can't stress it enough, so... That's my main favorite thing about being natural. Just embracing 
my hair for what it is. Straight to the point. Okay, my perception on natural hair did change to an extent because back then I feel like there wasn't as much, you know, uh, methods and ways to cater to everyone's hair type, whereas now there's different products for different textures of hair. You don't have to worry about one moisturizer for everyone's hair because usually some products work differently on everyone's hair. Um, so my perception didn't change about the fact that there's other way there's other ways outside of perms, you know, to embrace your hair and wear your hair. But the perception that there's other methods now for everybody and more people can embrace, you know, wearing natural hair, yeah, changed in that sense. If I had to sum it up in one sentence, that would be it. My I love my hair because it sums up my heritage, my culture, and my family history.